Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and today's video is going to be about one of my foundation routines. I don't want to say that this is my new foundation routine because I actually apply my foundation different pretty much every day depending on what kind of foundation I'm using and what kind of look I'm going for. But this is going to be one of my newer routines and one of the routines that I've been liking a lot lately. I'm actually going to be using two products from Sonia Kashuk, the Beauty Blending Sponge as well as the Stippling Brush and my Makeup Forever HD foundation in color number 178. And if you would like to learn how to achieve this type of look, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so as per always, you're gonna start out with a cleansed and moisturized face. My face is clean and it is moisturized. And if you notice a white cast on my face, it's because I'm using a very strong eye cream that has, it's not very strong, but very effective eye cream that has a very high SPF in it and it has titanium dioxide. It is like, so hot here in California and I'm becoming so dehydrated, especially around my eyes and it's not a good look. So I've been using actually um, Hydrophase UV from La Roche-Posay, awesome brand. I'll do a review on some of my skincare products very soon. I know way off topic okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my Makeup Forever um, HD in color 178. I'm gonna pump about four good pumps onto a palette. Hope you can see that. I got this palette from a little art shop. It's like a dollar and change. And what I'm going to do is start out with a stippling brush. The brush I'm going to be using is from Tony Kashuk. And the reason I'm starting with a stippling brush is because this foundation is very expensive. And I'm going to be applying my foundation with my Beauty Blender sponge. Okay, so I am going to start by dipping the brush into uh, the foundation. And I'm just going to stipple it all over my face, everywhere where I feel a need coverage. And as I was saying before, I'm going to start by stippling because the foundation is very expensive and that Beauty Blender sponge, though it is awesome, it's a sponge and it can suck up your foundation. And I just like the finish that it provides. And now that I have pretty much the first, um, pretty much the, the first coat of foundation, I'm going to take a little bit more and bounce it in areas where I like to have a little bit more coverage but I want it to look really natural. And I'm just going to stipple that, which is pretty much everywhere. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and make sure it's nice and moist and blend it in. And this just helps to give me a really awesome, flawless coverage. Blends it out, makes everything look seamless and just really, really good. And then after I use majority of my foundation, whatever I have left, I kind of just go in with my sponge and um, I take it and I blend out any edges around my face, around my jaw, around my neckline, my hairline, over my eyes very gently, around my nose. And then I take this end of it and I take whatever I have left, as you can see here, and then just bounce it very gently around my eyes. This is also a really great um, technique for concealer. If you use a creamy concealer, you can use it with any concealer really, but it's really good if it's a really creamy concealer and you can just bounce it and roll it back and forth. It's very gentle and good for your eye area and it also just makes for a really natural flawless coverage. Okay, now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever uh, Lift Concealer in color 5. I'm also going to place that onto my palette. And what I'm going to do is initially just take it with my finger and apply it where I want some coverage or some highlighting. And it's just in the usual places around my mouth, around my nose, under my eyes, and under my lip, actually, and around my mouth area. And I say when you're applying your foundation, don't worry about getting on your lips. You want everything to be smooth and seamless and blend together. So even around your mouth area, then you can wipe your lips off later. But I just take it and I blend it upward very softly. And you just tap. You don't drag. You don't pull. You just tap, tap, tap. And it's going to blend it out. And it's going to give you a really awesome coverage. And it's going to look really, really great. I mean, it blends and it really gives you that airbrush uh, look. It really helps to disperse 
the foundation all over your face and blend and the reason this works so well number one it's a sponge and sponge has pores and little you know crevices just like our skin does and it kind of just helps to embed that foundation in a way that looks natural for your skin whereas some brushes you may get streaking and stuff like that but stippling brushes sponges and big fluffy brushes are really really great to apply foundation actually after this video I'm going to have a video about how to achieve the best foundation finish with tools I really really like to give me that flawless foundation look without looking too made up this is also a great tool for applying cream blush or um, cream contour cream anything it really just blends out very very well and I'm very pleased with the coverage. I hope that you guys um, definitely give the Beauty Blender a try. Now this is not the original Beauty Blender sponge. I've actually never used the original. This is actually from Sonia Kashuk. Um, Sephora also makes one and Forever 21 also makes one. I bought one from Forever 21. It was about this big initially and when I went to wet it, it did not expand. So, you know, buyer beware if you're going to get one from Forever 21. The one from Sephora I heard is actually really good. It's a really pretty bright yellow color and um, I really like this product a lot. I actually have a video using this one from like a couple years ago. I'll actually have that in the bottom bar. It's going to be really interesting to see me from a few years ago if you're a new subscriber of mine to see how my videos were and kind of how I was <laughs> as a content creator from a few years ago. It's a really, really funny video. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from here you can definitely dust on a light powder you can actually use this for powder especially if it's pressed you kind of just wiggle the butt basically into the product and you press it onto your face and it's actually a really really great for applying powder it's really cool okay guys so it's pretty much it for the video as you can see everything is really well blended it looks really good and natural really really love this uh, sponge have been using it now lately a lot really into it uh, as you can tell a few of other content creators are actually using this a lot too anyway guys i'm rambling as always thank you so much for your support thank you for watching commenting rating and subscribing i'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye